Good quality start from Gulko. So the arm looks a little looser today, that forehand. In trouble, a rather nervous start from Hantakova in my book. Okay, oh, she's broken to love. What a start for Gulko. It's after the Australia USA tie finished yesterday. Gulko was straight out onto the exactly. centre court here. Oh, a great volley followed by a top smash. It's uh, two confidence boosting strokes for Dulco. breaks for a second time. Oh, not by That's much. Well, that... Uh, was hit with a bit of intention. She meant every inch of that shot. Public. She hasn't been able to find the length that, that yeah, she wants. Yeah. And, uh, and Mark Philippoussis hits it. Long 30. Work hard or we'll lose pounds quickly. Oh, found the corner, found the mark. Save a couple of break points. He measures this one back deep into the forehand corner, right on the line. No confidence on that shot. This young lady is a big favourite today, Hantakova. She's 5 1 down. Playing with so much poise and confidence now. <laughs> Just not seeing us reacting to those shots, though. And in under half an hour, Gisela Dulco of Argentina makes the first set. 6-1 against the predictions of most. Oh, <laughs> Gulko can do it all and Hentakova can only stand and applaud.
Kyrgios. Yes. She had three previous break points in the match without converting, but Hantakova, a sweet forehand. There's been a lot of those, and she breaks. Areas that you can improve when you're winning. Oh, yes, well played. Oh, what an angle from Bilko. The way we used to play. room to spare, I don't think. Okay, Maybe a little lucky, Bilko, with that deep forehand. Sounded like it might have caught some of the frame. Yeah, a lot of people have that elbow down. Watch where all these players have the elbow up. Yep. Oh, oh, it's about shoulder height. More of a push than a good throw, yeah. Oh, it's oh, good. No. To let it go. And it's not going to hurt her. As Hantakova holds for 3-1 in pretty quick time. Okay, Argentina. Neither player under threat in the last couple of service games, but it is still Hantakova. four or five different languages. That's why he doesn't really worry about English because uh, she handles that department. Okay, 
that forehand, she stayed lower. That's much better forehand. She just has to dig this out, Hentikova. Well, three double faults in this game. Oh, missed it. Hentikova serving for the second set. One of the better serves that she's delivered today. A set all. And we've got a women's final worthy the Hopman Cup 17 final day. Tall girl. Also coming from the wrong side of the country, but yes. If she can break serve here and get to a two love lead. her style isn't it she can crack one and then she goes the forehand away from the body very flat but uh, you can see the emotion starting to the inside shot working Yeah, good service going here again from It's a good though, it holds to line and it's a much steadier start from both players in the third set. No breaks have served through five games. That's well, no time for errant thoughts now. That was brilliant execution. It was on that forehand. Opening the shoulders a bit too quickly, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of trouble there, though. Took her length the wrong way and took over. It's important the players open up with a crack and first point. <laughs> Just too smart. Went the right way, but uh, it was too well hit. Oh, that's terrific. She's been waiting a while for that, but that ball did not bounce up off the court, and the knee bend was super from Hantikova. 
Oh, and on a double fold, Hantakova wins the crucial seventh game. Change direction again, that one down the line. This is where Dulko is letting herself down a little bit. She's generally a much more consistent player. Well, she's not out of this one yet either. Like points okay. like that, when things get tough and get tight. Okay. Holds to love. It's great when you get to the end of a third set and it's so evenly matched and you see the girls really put in. Come on from Hantakova after this winner. Well, it hasn't been one-sided at all. This third set. Sears, pleased on her behalf, proud too. And a great match between Gisela Dulko and Daniela Hantakova. But uh, as a runner-up last year, Hantakova's come to this uh, very motivated. Daniela Hantakova, congratulations. Uh, that was a very, very tough match for you. Uh, just take us through it. Yeah, I mean, I... Sorry. They're taking a, cr a crowd photo at the moment, but... Uh, I think you're a little more important. Let's hear what you've got to say. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy that I got through this. I mean, I didn't really feel like I was playing my best. And, uh, you know, I just tried to hang in there and fought for every point, And uh, it paid off at the end. I'm really get, glad that I got the first point for our country. Were the nerves a real factor for you today, having lost the Hopman Cup last year in the final? No, I was not thinking about that. I was more thinking about, you know, how badly I wanted to win this one because, you know, it means a lot to us. And I really wanted to give uh, Dominic a good start to this match today. And, uh, yeah, I was just so nervous because, you know, I really wanted to win today. And with Dominic now uh, going on to take uh, Coria, he, he'll probably be just the underdog there, but do you think it'll help him uh, in that match, the fact that he's playing from in front? Yeah, for sure it's going to help him. I mean, uh, Dominic loves this kind of matches. He, uh, he loves it when we, he plays for, for Slovakia, whether it's Davis Cup or Hoffman Cup. So for sure he's going to uh, come out playing really well, and uh, I think he's, gonna, he's got a good chance to win. Well, just have a look here now. We're going to show some of your uh, your ground strokes. Uh, your rhythm took a while to get there today, but finally you were getting that depth on the on the forehand and the backhand. Yeah, I was struggling a lot today. Um, I think on every shot because I was just so tired and nervous. And uh, you know that's that's what happens sometimes. But uh, I, I'm just really glad that I didn't give up and just uh, kept fighting for every every point. And uh, yeah, it was a really tough match. And I'm really glad that uh, you know I got the first win for Slovakia. And holding serve early in that second set when you're under pressure, was that one of the points where you thought that now I'm getting into the match? Yeah, I mean, I had to, I had to work hard for every, every point because I didn't really feel like I had a good rhythm. And, uh, yeah, I just had to really dig deep. And uh, I think the most important was the first break of the second set where I felt like I was getting a little bit of momentum. And then, um, yeah, when I broke away in the third set at the end, I felt like I was in the control and uh, had a pretty good uh, last game on my serve. And the doubles, you feel that you and Dominic, if it has to go to that point, you, you're going to be playing good enough? Yeah, sure. I mean, we feel very confident about the doubles because we played so well in, the, in all of our matches and we were just a little unlucky that we didn't win. But, uh, you know, we have a lot of fun together and it's going to be interesting. Well, it was hard work for you there today, but uh, well done. You've put your team one up. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks a lot.